for your willingness to work to make progress on this issue, um, ending the bulk collection of Americans' phone records and making sure that other surveillance authorities cannot be used in a similar way are critical priorities. And I'm pleased that these have been addressed in the manager's amendment. But I'm not satisfied with a bill that does not fully tackle transparency and include provisions that would enable greater reporting by companies of information about the government requests they receive. Greater transparency will help inform Congress and the public and help hold our government accountable. Um, in January, Attorney General Holder and Director of National Intelligence James Clapper announced that the administration was taking action to allow more detailed disclosures about the number of national security orders and requests issued to communications providers and the number of customer accounts targeted under those orders and requests. In their statement announcing this agreement, they stated that the administration had determined that the public interest in disclosing this information now outweighs the national security concerns that required its classification. My position is that even greater disclosure is warranted in order to restore the credibility and trust of the American public in our government. I co-sponsored Representative Lofgren's Surveillance Order Reporting Act that was included in the original USA Freedom Act. I'll continue to say that I think the language providing for disclosure in that bill takes a much stronger step and makes a great deal of sense. I don't believe there's a good argument against that bill, but I want to find middle ground and seek compromise on this issue. Um, this amendment, which I thank Chairman Goodlatte and Ranking Member Congress for joining me on, will be a positive, it will be a step in a positive direction and is a far better course of action than leaving this issue out of the bill entirely. The intent of the amendment is to offer additional disclosure flexibility to companies beyond what was included in the January agreement that major technology companies entered into with the administration. Um, so I urge my colleagues to support would, this amendment and I yield Would back. the gentle, y lady yield? Yes. Um, I thank the gentlelady uh, for yielding and thank her also for being uh, an original co-sponsor of uh, my uh, surveillance reporting bill. I had actually planned to offer an amendment that had bands of uh, 0 to 100, but in view of the agreement on this amendment, I am not going to offer that uh, today. However, I would hope, uh, Mr. Chairman, that we will have an opportunity to discuss uh, between now and the floor the, the possibility of having smaller bans. Um, I have been unpersuaded by the defense agencies and, and intelligence agencies of why that is problematic. It would be enormously helpful uh, to technology companies who uh, live in my district and in Ms. Delbeni's district to be able to uh, tell the truth about what is happening, and I would further add this. It also serves a purpose for this committee. The technology companies are to some extent the canary in the mine for us, and if we are able to learn because of the transparency provisions the scope of what is occurring, that would be of great interest to uh, the committee itself. I want to commend uh, the gentlelady from Washington for the granularity that she has included in this amendment. I think that's really very important, and I do credit well, with um, that. The gentlelady will the gentlelady yield? Uh, well, I don't have the time, Ms. Oh, oh. Ms. Delbeni. Yes, and I just appreciate you yielding. I appreciate the amendment. Uh, I am fully supportive and appreciate your work in, in doing this. Thank you. Would the gentlelady yield? I'll yield. I, uh, I think this amendment would allow companies to report with greater detail on their cooperation with government requests for business records and other information. And so I'm happy to support it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I yield back. Uh, the Chair uh, recognizes himself for five minutes in support of the amendment. Uh, I am pleased to join the gentlewoman from Washington, Ms. Delbeni, in offering this amendment. The amendment authorizes companies to biannually publicly uh, report requests for information they receive under FISA and National Security Letter authorities. American technology companies are experiencing a lack of customer trust and loss of international business as a result of the Snowden leaks based upon the fear that information about their customers is readily and routinely turned over to the American government. Since the leaks, Companies have sought permission to publicly report national security requests from the government 
to inform and hopefully assuage the concerns of their American and foreign customers. In January of this year, several companies entered into a settlement with the Justice Department, which permits the companies to report on certain aggregate FISA and NSL requests. This amendment codifies that settlement with several modifications to allow for even greater transparency to the American people about their privacy and the extent of the intelligence community's work while protecting national security. I support my, this amendment and I urge my colleagues to do the same. Will the chairman yield? Uh, I yield the gentlewoman from Washington. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I want to thank you for all of your work and commitment on this issue overall. And I would appreciate your continuing to work with me to make more improvements on this bill. I hope we can all agree that we are willing to make technical changes to ensure that companies currently reporting under the terms of the current settlement aren't in any way impacted in the wrong direction if we discover um, there are changes that need to be made. Also, I would like to have us work together to consider going further, particularly if the DOJ at a future time determines that it is in the public interest to allow companies to provide further details and to move those ranges in a downward direction, as Ms. Lofgren referred to, that our legislation doesn't prevent them from, from doing that. Well, reclaiming my time, I, I certainly agree with what the gentlewoman from Washington and the gentlewoman from California you know, have stated. Uh, codifying this with your amendment will force the, GO, or the DOJ to come and talk to us, which has not been uh, the case in many other issues that have come before this committee. Mr. Chairman. Uh, I yield the gentlewoman from Texas. Yeah. Um, let me um, indicate uh, my support for this amendment. Uh, and I want to point out uh, the obvious is that there are two markups this week, but I think as I look at this legislation, it answers two questions that are very important to the American people, transparency and privacy. And I am particularly grateful for the section in the bill that requires uh, a report of what was required, meaning what did you have to comply with. That is the meat of the, of the initiative from my perspective or the amendment is tell us what you actually had to do. And then uh, the provision uh, that uh, deals with a number of categories of which will be part of the response. I think this is uh, clearly an addition uh, that helps uh, both the industry know just what um, is required of them, but more importantly is a very viable uh, amendment that gives information to the public. I think it is a good balance, uh, and um, I thank the gentlelady and her co-sponsors for this amendment. I think it adds to our language as well, and with that, I yield back. Uh, I yield back the balance of my time. For what purpose the gentleman from Georgia seek recognition? Uh, strike last word, Mr. Chairman. Gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to uh, also agree and, and support uh, Ms. Delbeni's amendment. I think it, it does give us a, a great starting point. I appreciate her hard work on this. Of course, I was also a sponsor of uh, Ms. Lofgren's amendment. I believe that. And, and it is my hope that the chairman and others will continue to look at this as we come to the floor. I would like to see more transparency in this, and I have a strong supporter of that. Um, this is, is something that needs to be taken care of. I just wanted to rise in support of that, um, the gentlelady from Washington's amendment, and also uh, what was left out of the final product was Ms. Lofgren's, and I would like to see it uh, put back. But we have worked together on several things. This is where we can definitely come together and find these agreements, and I do appreciate it. And with that, you will back. The question is on agreeing to the amendment to the amendment in the nature of a substitute offered by the gentlewoman from Washington, Ms. Delbeni. Those in favor will say aye. Aye. Pose no. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes have it. And the amendment to the amendment in the nature of a substitute is agreed to. Are there further amendments? Mr. Chairman. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from California seek recognition?